Thanks for tuning in to Midwest Whitetail, the Great Plains Show. Today is September the 29th, the last Sunday of September. And with that being said, we are getting closer to the great time of the year to be in a tree. Um, I'm up here on the Permission Farm. The last time I was up here, the neighboring soybean field was still really green and a lot of the deer were feeding into it. So I'm excited to get back here and check these cuttybacks to see what's moving. Hopefully something has moved in. Uh, farmers in the area are starting to harvest their corn as well. So that kind of frees up some area where these deer may be hunkered down bedding and uh, we start to pick up a lot of new deer this time of year. Uh, I want to go back to yesterday. We went up to the main farm. Justin and I pulled some cuttyback camera cards up there and it was like a light switch. We have several new deer on camera, really nice three-year-old. Um, a lot of our target bucks are starting to move in daylight and close to daylight. So uh, we're excited to get in the tree. It looks like Thursday is going to be a big 15 degree temperature drop and uh, we're going to be in a tree that day. So I'm going to get back here, check these cuttybacks and uh, I'll let you, let you guys know what's on them. Well, that was not as exciting as I anticipated. Uh, the cuttybacks were a little bit slow, and uh, all the other bucks that had been in here were back, just not as frequent. Um, they're using the plot. They've absolutely devoured my big and beastie, and they're hitting my oats as well. Um, Gene Simmons did not show up, which is not surprising, as I have confirmation that he's moved about a mile and a half away from here, and Sosa was in there one night. so. Uh, as these crops continue to come out on the neighboring properties and stuff, I feel like this farm will heat up. It's only an 80 acre track, so I'm not going to get too pushy with this farm. I'm going to wait for the cuttybacks to tell me when to go in here and hunt these particular deer. I still have a lot of deer that have yet to show up that I know made it from last year. So we're just going to kind of sit back and monitor these cameras and make our move. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail, Great Plains Show, and do not miss next week's episode. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, RK Tractors, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, and Real Trees. Well, it's September 24th. Uh, today's the first chance I'm going to get to uh, get in a tree. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully shooting a doe tonight. And last night I drove by and there's probably 10 deer uh, all the way back in this corner. So I'm going to sit in this corner and uh, hopefully kill a doe. Beautiful fall evening. Uh, it's been really hot um, since the start of the season, like in the 90s during the day. Um, I know a couple guys have had had uh, luck killing some bucks, but for the most part, deer are moving really, really late at night. Um, they're hitting acorns pretty heavy, and also persimmons. Um, I haven't had many north winds where I was available to hunt, or else I'd be hunting a persimmon tree about, I don't know, half mile from here. Well, my shot wasn't the best, but uh, that deer did go down. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead over there in the field. I'm gonna try and give her as much time as possible and uh, go recover. Um, she's a little far back, but it was a, it was a far shot. I know, further than I, I would normally shoot, but uh, I knew she wasn't gonna duck the arrow, and uh, um, I wanted to to take her out because of her injury or, or sickness or whatever whatever she's got going on. Well, as you can see, we had a successful evening. Uh, the deer did not go far, and I uh, was really happy about that. Obviously, there's something wrong with this deer. I'm not sure if it was an injury or some sort of uh, illness or something, but uh, it doesn't matter. We still had a, a really good evening. Got Joshua out to uh, help me recover it, and uh, Hope helped too, and now we're going to get this deer cut up and uh, plan our next adventure, plan our next hunt. So, Yep. What do you think, bud? Yeah. Hey guys, we're here on uh, 
this new farm I get to hunt, uh, archery hunt, it's called it the uh, Bluff Farm. And I've uh, been able to rifle hunt the last couple years, finally gained permission to archery hunt it. And there's a number of deer out here, and uh, butts right up on the Missouri River here. And they got a bunch of beans and stuff up here on the tops on these bluffs, and they're getting hit pretty hard. I haven't had a chance to get any cameras or anything out. So we're out here today hanging some stands and uh, put a couple cameras out, hopefully hunt in the next couple days. So it looks like there's a number of deer here. So we'll see what happens, stay with us. Hey guys, we're up here on the bluff farm today uh, where we hung those two sets yesterday. We uh, actually bumped a doe getting in, even though it's 92 degrees out today. So I'm still hopeful we might see something. The landowners are wanting us to take some of these does out, so hopefully we'll get a chance at one tonight. Stay with us and see what happens here on Midwest Whitetail. It's Kyle of Midwest Whitetail. I'm out here at my family's 50 acre farm. I got about a six acre food plot right here and a one acre food plot right down there. I came out the other day, just kind of watched the field and I had a real nice buck out here in front of us. Right now there's a doe and a fawn down below. It's still pretty early. Hopefully um, something a little nicer will come out before it gets too dark. All right, guys, we're at this 50 acres. We just had the big buck we were after come out, but he was a little too far away. He came out at probably 60 yards, hit the food plot and fed up the hill. Didn't know anything was going on, so hopefully he sticks around. Okay. Thanks for watching this week of Midwest Whitetail. Well, guys, thanks for joining me here at Midwest Whitetail, uh, Great Plains region. It is September 22nd. I'm finally out here in the tree stand, got it set up. Like I said, I'm out here self filming, just do my own little hanging hunt. You know, tonight it's about 67, 66 degrees. It's only going to drop a couple more degrees before it's dark. But the rain's cleared up as of last night and this morning. The sun's starting to show a little bit. Still, still got the nice overcast though. The buck I'm after, the two bucks specifically I'm after today are Rowdy and Mon Joe Montana. We're just going to kind of sit sit and wait and see what happens. Seemed like a good shot, the initial impact seemed like a great shot. Um, but then she ran out there and she stood there for a minute, a couple minutes, uh, and then slowly went into the woods. So I'm pretty sure it was a lethal hit. Um, it looked like it was it was perfect placement, um, but I just checked the uh, footage and I'm not, it, it may be just a hair back, I'm not sure. So um, regardless, I'm gonna give her time. I could see my arrow down there, it was a perfect pass through. and. Uh, one of the beauties of a longbow. I think it's just so quiet. It doesn't have that same that same uh, startling 
sound that, that a compound does when it goes off. So it, does, it didn't spook her real bad, which was, which was great. So anyways, I'm gonna give her, give her some time. It's a nice cool morning, give her plenty of time and then ease back in here and, and hopefully recover pretty quick. All right, well, I'm back into the uh, into the last spot that I saw her yesterday. She's got two beds right here. Um, you can see the blood in both of them. Um, and she basically, when I when I bumped her, I mean, like I had said, it it was 10 hours later, which just totally blew my mind. But the fact that there were two beds together like this um, is a good sign. Uh, when deer are lethally hit, a lot of times they'll bed multiple times. Well, I finally recovered her. Um, as you can see, I got my trusty lab here, Annie, but uh, she wasn't very trusty. She was more of a hindrance than a help, to be honest. Anyways, uh, I would say this deer probably went about seven to 800 yards in this thick, nasty swamp. Uh, not all of that was in the swamp, but if you total where she ran from and where I shot her in the field to the woods, totaled about seven, 800 yards. Regardless of that, I sure had fun doing it. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail Great Plains Show.